How to YouTube today, we're taking a look at the Star Wars Rebels Kanan. Obviously, one of the main characters from the new Star Wars Rebel show. As you can see, I picked this guy up for from Target for six bucks. So that is pretty much the only reason I got this. I'm not the biggest fan of the Rebels toys. They look, uh, I think, too cartoonish. I had the same sort of problem with the Clone Wars ones. I prefer the more realistic looking figures, but that does come down to personal preference. Uh, having said that, uh, Season 1 of the Rebels, uh, it's a little bit hit and miss. Um, I haven't checked out Season 2 yet, just because I like to binge watch my shows, so I'm waiting for it to uh, pretty much all finish, and then I'll watch through, um, because I'm not a fan of waiting week to week. But uh, I like that they've got the clone troopers in there, Rex and Wolf and some of the other clone commandos and commanders. So that uh, piques my interest. The new Sith in that looks quite good. The Inquisitor in Season 1 I thought was fantastic. As the season progressed and the show progressed, I think the episodes got substantially better. But uh, I'm not sure what's happening on Season 2. Let me know if it is good and worth checking out or whether I should give it a miss. So with that, let's get him opened up. And taking a look at the back of the packaging, the read-up says Kanan Jorus is a freedom fighter on the Ghost Freighter. A Jedi before the fall of the Republic, he hides his Force abilities to avoid capture. This strong Jedi-filled commander leads resistance operations against the Empire and in support of the Rebel cause. Yeah, quite a cool character, probably my favourite of the show, if I'm honest. Other figures that we've got in the set, there are several. It is the newer, cheaper style of uh, Star Wars figures, which I, I'm... You know, I'll uh, leave that for another day. Uh, one thing with the show that uh, I think, at this stage anyway, what I've seen, uh, I really wish they'd kept Star Wars The Clone Wars going. That show was fantastic. The last, you know, seasons 3, 4, 5, and 6 were pure gold. 1 and 2 weren't bad too, a little bit kiddie, uh, and then slowly developing out of that. But uh, anyway, let's get Kanan out of packaging. Okay, and here we have Kanan opened up and out of packaging. Uh, not a bad looking figure, certainly my favourite uh, Rebels figure, I think, along with the Inquisitor, are the two best that they've released so far as part of this line. Uh, nice detail, I think it's very accurate to what he wears on the show. One thing I think is interesting is that they've sculpted the blaster in his pocket rather than giving us an actual blaster that can be removed. That is a little bit annoying if I'm completely honest, but uh, other than that, quite a cool looking figure. It is uh, fairly simple. It's only got a swivel head, swivel arm, and swivel in the leg. But, uh, yeah, not much else to say about this guy, really. Just for comparison, I've got Kanan with the Inquisitor. You can see he scales really well. And then compared to a um, Episode 1, Qui-Gon Jinn, another Jedi, you can see uh, there is a little bit of a difference uh, between like the more animated cartoon-style figures and the more realistic ones. Having said that, it's not too bad. Uh, if you're a big fan of Kanan and you're a big fan of the Star Wars Rebel show, then I think absolutely this guy is well worth picking up. If not, I'd uh, probably save your money. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed this review on the Star Wars Hasbro Rebels Kanan.